A week ago, Donald Trump announced he was going to give half a trillion dollars to AI. <laughs> and two days afterwards, a Chinese uh, startup uh, makes the entirety of that investment uh, the, 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 the laughing stock of uh, the modern world. DeepSeek spent $5.6 million training an LLM. <clears throat> this LLM scores uh, on pair with the GPT-40. OpenAI spent almost $100 million training GPT-40. That means that um, DeepSeek is capable of creating equally rich, complex, and high quality AI for 5% of the cost that uh, OpenAI needs to deliver similar models. And <clears throat> of course, uh, DeepSeek is open source and they've published uh, tons of articles related uh, to their technology and their research and their innovation. And of course, uh, as we can see, they've basically done what I've been saying for a couple of years needed to be done in order to optimize uh, AI, which is to look at the algorithms and you know they're doing stuff such as using eight bits float, float, floating point values, where they can get away with it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They basically compressed the calculation requirements twenty times required to to run an LLM. And uh, <clears throat> as they did, they they basically made uh, OpenAI irrelevant. And not only did they make them almost irrelevant, but they freaking open sourced this model. Now, that is a really, really big thing. You, you know what? I actually suspect that uh, GPT-5 is actually going to be, be built on the basis of DeepSeek's uh, LLM technology. Anything else would actually surprise me. Now, paradoxically, with this move, course as I anticipated two and a half years ago almost they've actually made I needle more worth than open AI at this point in time it could be uh, argued that I needle my company with one employee is currently worth more than open AI simply because we have moat that open AI doesn't have that might be difficult for you to believe so let me prove it by showing you what I can do. Here I have my CloudLads, and I've already downloaded a data set from Kaggle.com that uh, shows uh, investment information related to um, Indian startups. We can have a look at its data here. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is based upon a CSV file. I need to emphasize the, the way I did this was that, uh, let me show you in a different browser window. I went to manage, I went to databases, I created a new database, I called it foo, I edited that database, I clicked the three dots here and I chose import CSV file. And the database is 100% automatically created. And I will even uh, preserve, you know, types to some extent of the fields from the CSV file and create the correct um, uh, columns uh, according to whatever columns my CSV file contains. So now what I want to do, I want to go to the generator, I want to choose this database, foo, and then I want to mark and check off search beta here. I need to emphasize this is a beta feature just released an hour ago and it only works with SQLite. Might be issues with it, but it's pretty kick-ass. Now I'm going to click the generate guy, and of course I generated it wrongly because I need it to be accessible for guests. So let me overwrite it after I've applied the correct role here now. Overwrite, what's overwrite? Here is overwrite. Now I click generate. 2,426 lines of code uh, automatically generated. I choose this uh, guy in um, Hyper ID. I find the search guy here now. And now if we look for something here, now let's see, okay, so health tech is a keyword, right? Okay, health tech. See what other keywords we have. Okay, Chennai, Chennai, and this guy, or IPO. What it's doing now, it's returning uh, 
distinct keyword uh, density search based upon my keywords, implying that uh, each that the record containing every single one of my keywords is going to score higher than any record containing one or two of my keywords, etc. That are going to like bubble downwards. And this is basically an alternative to RAG. However, what I wanted to illustrate here now is that I want to, to use this data and create an AI chatbot or an AI agent. I'm going to create a new agent. I'm going to call it uh, Foo. Uh, I don't want it to be uh, accessible for anybody but my employees. And I want its flavor to be of AI agent type. Now I can... Uh, Actually, I can add it here, I guess. Now I can add an AI function. Find out search for Indian startup. And I find uh, the search guy here that ends with dash search. I install it. I save this guy and I open the AI expert system in a different browser window. Log in. And now I can ask a question such as search for search for Indian startups that are based in C, where we can find some intelligent values to use, based in Pune, or Chennai, and owned by or or in the state of, and of course I chose the wrong type. So let me just refresh it and abort it earlier because I need to choose my full type here. See, it's uh, self-correcting because it realizes it's getting too much information. That fact is passed on to the LLM. The LLM returns with a new function invocation that's limiting the search results. And as you can see here now, we have the you know, top 20 something or whatever records from this particular database matching my keywords. So what was the point of that exercise? The point of that exercise is that we're using OpenAI and GPT-4 and OpenAI's uh, models uh, underneath the hood. However, we have never focused on building our own LLM because we didn't have the resources. Just like DeepSeek, we didn't have the resources to do what OpenAI did. So we did something else. Um, we ended up with a shitload of moat as a consequence of us choosing to do something else. There's this saying that goes as follows, which is if there's a gold rush, then make sure you're selling shovels, right? Which implies that uh, the, the one making most of the money during a gold rush isn't the ones that are looking for gold, but rather the ones that are providing services to those that are looking for gold. Now, open source destiny is to outperform a closed source. We've seen this on every single major innovation we've had in IT throughout the last 100 years, in fact, or 80 years. And you see it on, for instance, how PostgreSQL is now running around Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server in circles, both on features and you know, performance and on you know, adoption. You see it in regards to how, you know, even Microsoft were forced themselves to open source license.net because they couldn't simply keep up with competition from Python and Node.js, etc. You see this in regards to how even Google Chrome was uh, licensed as open source because it was the only way they had to uh, have their users adopt uh, an alternative to Internet Explorer, etc., etc. I could go through a million similar examples like this. However, the point being that I am now in iNero as the sole shareholder of iNero, owning 100% of the shares in iNero, in a better position than OpenAI. iNero has more moat than OpenAI. Simply because we never 
spent our resources building an LLM because I knew we didn't need to spend any resources building an LLM because the market was simply so saturated with a billion other really, really smart guys wanting to build an LLM for them to open source license it either for political reasons or because of strategic uh, reasons or, or things like that which allowed me to simply ignore the problem, realizing somebody else was going to solve it two years down the road. And exactly two years down the road, somebody solved it and it was deep seek. And to be honest with you, I'm dropping everything I'm currently holding in my hands now to implement deep seek as a natural integrated uh, LLM directly into Magic. And we'll be hosting our own LLM probably within a month or two and providing DeepSeek as an alternative to using OpenAI. And um, that basically means Donald Trump wasted half a trillion dollars. Don't get me wrong, I mean, you know, <laughs> everything that, you know, allows us to, you know, build better and higher quality and, you know, focusing on innovation and all that stuff is amazing and you know maybe they'll have some you know return on their half a trillion dollars building of data centers and all that stuff but sorry trump you gave away half a trillion dollars believing that you were going to become the headline of the news because of that um, thing but you didn't to be honest with you, I am a million times more enthused today about DeepSeek than I am about that half a trillion dollars. And that is, as I said, because of uh, what I said in my previous YouTube video, which is that innovation isn't a monetary problem. It's a cognitive problem. Implying all you need to do is to apply enough of your mental resources at the problem for a long enough period of time for DeepSeek. This happened to be two years, in fact, in total and you are going to be capable of delivering kick-ass quality. If you're chasing money, you're chasing the wrong thing. Chase innovation, chase thinking. Spend insane amounts of resources thinking and testing and experimenting, at which point you inevitably will be capable of solving that problem. However, the paradox today is that out of every single AI company on the planet, Ideal is arguably the most valuable one <laughs> because we didn't have an LLM. 